I enjoy watching YouTube videos. And one day I was scrolling the internet and I ran into this video by this wise man named Muji. And he said to an audience that he was uh, addressing, he said something like, uh, if you want to regain the enthusiasm of a child, all you need to do is bring yourself back to the moment before you knew anything. The quote may not even be 100% accurate because I haven't been able to find it again. However, the challenge posed within it really has stuck with me. I love photography and when I'm photographing, I look for beauty and I see it everywhere. I see it in beautiful landscapes, I see it on coastlines, I see it in wild animals, I see it in cities made by men, I see it uh, in my son, in my beautiful dog, uh, in the smile of a stranger, it's everywhere. And I love to capture it through photography. And when I'm doing that, I'm absolutely still. After hearing Muji's words, I got so present to that in that moment, I'm living outside of knowing anything. I'm just purely in observation mode. And I, um, you know, there's a stillness within me. And I, you know, observing just the beauty, the beauty of life, whatever it is that I'm looking at, and I'm trying to capture it through my photography. I'm not concerned about anything in the past. I'm not concerned about anything about the future that may be coming to me. During this moment, I'm just in awe. And I'm so present to the miracle that life is. Uh, I'm, I'm present to the miracle that I am. I'm present to the miracle that you are. I'm, you know, it is really within uh, items that are smaller than an atom and to the farthest reaches of the universe. You can find it anywhere. It all is just one giant miracle. It is also really disconcerting. Where do we come from? Where are we going? What is life for? What will the future bring? What happens after life? Who or what is behind all this? Though we rarely say it out loud, these are all questions we face all the time. And we want to know. Our survival depends on it. I also heard these words by another wise man, and his name is Sadhguru. He said, the greatest aspect of life is that there is no meaning to it, and that there is no need for it to have a meaning. Human beings are constantly trying to create false purposes. It's a trap. Human beings like it to assign it meaning because it gives you a sense of safety, security, protection, and individual identity. But if you build a cocoon around yourself, it gives you safety, but it also imprisons you. Don't look for a purpose. When you find one, you find madness. The purpose of life is to live and to be alive totally. What if life is that simple and he's right? But if the only purpose, other than the purposes that we create for ourselves, is to live and be alive totally, maybe then all there is to do is for us to look within and to see what has us come alive. What if life is not about knowing, but it's about experiencing it? You know, after I heard that quote, it's made my life so much simpler. I no longer argue with my friends about religions or politics or, or science or whatever else we consider to be the truth. I no longer have to defend any beliefs that I have. Uh, and in doing so, I've actually been able to hear the beliefs of my friends much more clearly. I wanted to share these simple thoughts with you because they've been so profound to my life and they're just too good not to share. I want to leave you pondering the following questions. What are you willing to give up knowing? What has you be alive? What are you passionate about? What has you disappear in the moment? What has you be at home with yourself in this amazing life that we now have temporarily hold of? Thank you for watching. I so look forward to any responses you have.